Welcome back to my channel Beauty Bites by Konika Arora. Today's video is all about mascara. I have seen so many students who come and join my classes and I have seen them using mascara in a very different way. So I wanted to tell you in this video what is the right way of putting mascara. Have you been the one who've been struggling to put mascara? Or whenever you put mascara, you feel that there is something wrong with it, but you don't know what. If this is the case with you, then keep on watching. I am going to tell you how exactly you put mascara. What are the do's and don'ts? What do you need to keep in mind when you are applying mascara? I'm going to start with this Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I am not taking any fancy mascara. Probably you must be thinking that it's just the mascara which is doing wonders. But that is why I'm taking a drugstore mascara which is Maybelline Colossal and this is actually one of my favorites from drugstore i'm going to tell you how exactly do you start with your mascara application number one have you been the one who've always been doing this to your mascara please don't do this you are spoiling the poor mascara your mascara is going to dry out before time and you won't be able to use it for a very long time so please don't do this if you're doing this you're actually pumping in more air into your mascara and your mascara is going to dry out really soon so stop doing this instead twirl the wand inside the mascara and then take out the mascara wand this is the magic wand so you don't want to spoil it okay when you take out your wand, you just need to clean the tip and now start with the application. When you start with your mascara application, make sure that you start from the root of your lash and then twist your hand and take it upwards. You are just not going to apply it like this. This is not the right way of applying mascara, no. What you're going to do is just observe. You're just going to put your mascara at the root of your lash, twist the mascara and blink. You have to blink slowly so that your mascara coats your lashes. That's what you're going to do. When you reach the inner corner of the eye, you're just going to work with the tip of the wand. Don't worry if your lashes bind together, I'm going to tell you the easiest way how you can separate them now just see the difference and i have just coated my lashes once with this mascara if you think that you have coated your lashes with a lot of powder and foundation then you need to coat your lashes from the top side as well but i actually don't put too much of powder and foundation on my eyes and this area I always avoid my lashes but if you do that then before doing this motion you really have to work in the downward motion cover your lashes with the mascara from top and then do it this way now we're going to do the lower lash and when we do the lower lash we always need to look down and then wiggle the mascara wand on the lashes
and now just see what different skin mascara can bring in your eyes your eyes look so wide open you look so much awake i also want to tell you one thing when you're applying mascara there are times when you actually put mascara here or here or anywhere i just want to put it here don't worry if this happens this has happened with me a lot of times it, i actually end up putting mascara either here or here i will just relax take a deep breath and let this mascara dry don't be in a hurry to take off your mascara because if you do that then you're going to spoil your base let this dry give ample amount of time for this to dry and then i'm going to show you the magic now my mascara has dried out what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a spoolie make sure that the spoolie is clean and i'm just going to rub this spoolie on top of my mascara voila let's go on you're going to use the same spoolie and work on your lashes with this if you think that your lashes have bind together that's how you do it and you can separate your lashes also there are times when people say that their mascara transfer here as well if you are one of those who have oily skin and you think that your mascara the lower lash mascara transfers here then what you can do is you can fill your spoolie with a little powder not exactly fill but just dust your spoolie with little powder and apply this powder only on the tip of your lashes this way your mascara is not going to transfer there are times when you see that you are having a lot of fallout I especially notice it when I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I always see that after some time I'm having a lot of fallout. You don't have to blame the mascara for that because I have been doing that. This actually happens when your mascara dries out and you still continue to use the same mascara. When this happens, this means that now it's the time for you to switch to a new mascara and get your hands on a new mascara. Now just see, how do I look like without a mascara? And what difference does a mascara make? If there would have been just one product in my vanity that I cannot live without, no, two of them, then it would have been a mascara and a lip balm. Yes, the, these are so, so important for me. I think brows as well. But yes, I can still do without brows because I, I am blessed with pretty good brows. But I need a mascara in my life. I cannot do without it. I hope I made all the doubts clear and I made this mascara application quite easy for you. So in case you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, mm -mm, it's too late. Please do subscribe because we come up with great and new content thrice a week. So do ring the notification bell so that you are notified every time my new video goes up. I love you all. Stay blessed and keep watching. And yes, if you have any questions, you have any doubts and you want to ask your questions, feel free to write down in the comments below. I will definitely come up with some great content for your answers as well.